Hey, I'm Jesse. And I'm Mr. G. And we are talking about BMS today. Next on Now You Know. All right, so we built this pack and it works. It runs the motor and I was so excited. We ran that motor until the pack was pretty low and we want to charge it back up. So I'm, I'm just going to take some wire and just I'll plug this into the wall and we'll just, we'll just hook it up. No, no, no. Whoa, what? <laughs> no, you can't just take any wire. It has to be a certain voltage. Oh, okay. So this is a 48 volt uh, battery pack. So I'll find, uh, we'll get 48 volts going on the thing here. That's, that's not gonna work either because this is 48 volt nominal, but you have to charge it up to 54. Why 54? Okay, so if you do the math and you say, okay, well, they're 3.7 each uh, nominal, but they're 4.2 at fully charged, then you do 4.2 times the entire pack. Okay, so 4.2 times 52 batteries is that's a huge number We're, that's way more than 56 volts. okay no all you need is the series oh so the 13 yeah, the in series the, is the voltage is not going up oh it's just okay the amps going so up. we want 4.2 times 13 yes okay so that's 54.6 okay yes okay so i'll right. just get this hooked up to 54.6 no, and no, no, no. that one only goes to 30. Oh, 32, right. actually. So I'll get a more powerful one and we'll just hook it up. And that'll work, right? Well, th that would work. Yeah. But you have to manage it. You gotta be nicer. Jesse, be nice to the pack. You can't just deliver power. But I mean, I thought that's what it wants. Well, what if one of the cells charges up too fast and the other ones don't charge as fast? You need to balance it. Okay, wait, I don't get it. I mean, you just said that one of the cells might charge first and then it would throw off the balance and I have to balance all of them. But I mean, these are all the same cells. Like they're all 18650s. We all source them from the same place. Why would there be any differences? Well, they're all slightly different. And so the capacity might be different. Okay, but why does that matter? Well, because one might fill up before the other one. Let me give you an analogy. Okay. Okay, so think of each cell being slightly different. Okay. Okay. And if it's raining the same amount everywhere, one of these is going to fill up first. Now, if one of them fills up first before the other one, even though it's raining the same amount, charging, what's going to happen is one of them will overflow or uh, in the battery case, it'll heat it up and maybe cause some damage. Oh, okay. So we don't want that to happen. So now I have to break apart the whole pack, charge each cell individually. I mean, we put in all this work just to attach each of these tape. Oh. God, no, no, is, no. What? No, all you need is, is a balancing link between the two, and then they'll always be at the same amount, you see? And so that's where we have a BMS. A BMS. What, what's, what is this? This is a battery management system. And so what does it do? Okay, so it takes a look at all the cells, and it just balances them. If one goes a little high, it takes it down just enough so the other one can catch up. Cool, so uh, I'll get some tape and we'll just pop it right there and then we're done, right? Yeah, well, it doesn't work by magic. You gotta attach some wires. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, how does this work? No, no, we gotta attach each one to the positives going all the way around and then finally one on negative. And then it, this goes into right here. Oh, okay, so wait. So we're gonna plug this in here and each one of these different wires is going to go to one extra series. Because, I mean, if we count these, so we have 14 wires here. Mm -hmm. And we have 13 positive battery terminals right. and one negative battery terminal. That's it. So, wait a minute. It's just, doing, it's just doing a basic thing. So, if we have our voltmeter and we have one connection to the negative side mm -hmm. and then one connection to the positive side. So, this is across one cell, so we get 4.2 volts. Yep. Then if I go to the next positive side, over here. Double the amount. We get double the amount, then I keep going. And so this would allow me to check the voltage of each of the different steps of the pack. Right. So if I saw, for instance, that this was lower than expected, then I would know that that, that cell group needed a little more needed a little less well it's actually checking for high so interesting so if something's over 
it'll actually use a resistor to take off, take down some of the power. So it kind of just gives it a little haircut on the top and then that gives the other ones a chance. So it would be like if I had the mugs again uh -huh. and if one of them filled, let's say this one filled up first, well, we could just take out a little bit of power until this gets a chance to catch up or vice versa. Interesting, on. because it's a little hard to picture here, but all the way up is 4.2 volts. So it had already reached close to 4.2. Right, and basically, so we would take away from this one. So instead of the power kind of building up in this cup, because it wouldn't necessarily just spill out. The, the electricity doesn't just go yeah. like on the table. Right. It has to do something. So what the BMS would be doing would be taking some of that power yeah. and just using it. Yeah, we just put it through a resistor and it just kind of, you know, burns it off a little bit. It just turns it into heat. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. So, I mean, we got this little circuit board guy here. Yeah, I mean, all this stuff is kind of complicated, but this makes it really simple. You see all these little LED lights? What happens is when each cell reaches the top, it will then give a light and you'll know. And so when all of them are at the top, you're done charging. Interesting. Okay, cool. So let's get this thing wired up. What do we need? Okay, so to get started, we're going to need a soldering iron. All right. You got that? We got one right here. Okay, so before we start soldering anything, doing anything crazy, let's just make sure that we know what we're talking about here when we are going to solder this thing on. So there are 14 leads and there are 13 cells. Right. And that makes sense because, you know, you have uh, five fingers, mm -hmm. but if you count the sides of your fingers, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Right? So when the battery cells are all put together, you'd have, you know, six. So that's why there's an extra one. It's, you know, That was a good way of looking one. at it. I kind of like that. Yeah. So, I mean, I that's, that's that. kind of what we're doing here. First, we have B1 minus. Then we have B1 plus. B1 minus is going to be the most negative terminal. Yeah. So there's nothing, there's no positives connected to this terminal. And I could show you that mm -hmm. by, by going to, by showing you. So here's, here's your negative right here. And I go on the other side and here's your positive and it's 4.2. Right. So this is our B1 minus. Yeah. This will be our, chart. yeah. So this will be our B1 plus. Right, 4.2. Yeah, so that's, now, yep. what are we looking at? B7, that's 24 volts, right? Yeah. So we should be seeing 24 volts. Now we're seeing 29 volts, and that's because the pack is fully charged. Right. So which if we you... lied to you, it's actually a fully charged pack. But you're going to have to just deal with that. So, okay, so then we go and we would find uh, B10 should be 36 volts. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that one should be 36 volts. We're up to 41.8, but that's okay. So that's exactly what we're looking at. And then obviously the maximum positive should be giving us, you know, the 48 volts. But again, this is a fully charged pack. So we got 54.3 volts. So that's you just 50, a- You have 53.4. And if you do the calculator, you would come up with uh, 54.6. So you're in, you're right in the ballpark. Right there. in the ballpark. So. That's just another little visualization to make sure that we're doing this right. This will always be our B1 negative, and then this is our B1 positive, so that would be 4.2 volts, and then we just keep working our way up. Before we solder, <laughs> measure let's twice, label. measure twice, cut once. Let's, let's, label, let's it. label it. All right, okay. so we've already got our, our B1 minus there. Yep. Then on the other side is our B1 plus. Then here we're gonna have our B2, our B2 plus. Yeah, B2 plus. And it's just working our way across here yeah. in this kind of pattern because that's the way we did the series. All right, so this is the B2 plus. Then this one should be the B3 plus. So now we flip it over. And again, it's coming out through this cell, so this positive. And again, the whole plate here is this same voltage. Doesn't matter whether I'm over the positive or the negative of the next cell because when I make the circuit, this cell will be ignored. So it comes around, comes right up here. This should be B5. You're doing a good job. Okay, then comes around and this should be B6. And you'll notice that each of these plates has its own voltage. Okay, so then we follow it around. This one should be B7. Right. And you notice that this is odd and the other side's even. Cool, so now we need to make a couple decisions here. One of which is going to be 
how we're going to put the BMS on this pack because uh, that's going to kind of determine how we're going to want to do the soldering. All right, so now I'm not going to connect this, but we're just going to see which way it goes. Um, so just to make sure that it fits on there, so this is the way it goes. So now this, this gray wire is going to be our B1 minus. Um, and this yellow one is going to be our B13 plus. So this is the most negative and the most positive terminals. And everything in between is just working its way up. And the nice thing is when this is plugged in, it will tell us exactly what we're doing. Just for safety, we're gonna keep this unplugged, um, but you can help me by reading off which one is going to be which. So the first one we're gonna start off with is B1 minus. All right, so safety glass is on, and we're gonna to wanna to solder this pack on. Oh, you know, is that, does this a rosin core or no? Nah? Yeah. Oh, it is? Okay, so we don't need flux. Yeah. I have flux, by the way. You're done, pull out! Is that it? Chill, don't touch it. A little more? Why not? That's it, man. That's it, bro. Jesse gets more intense. Look at him. He's like Survivor Man, but for, uh, but for, but for soldering. You know what I mean? All right, push it in there. It's in. This is Jesse in his normal habitat. As he focuses, he tries to breathe in the fumes at the same time. Here's where the cable management becomes a little bit tricky. So this gray, yeah, yeah. so we want to like really be nice. Yeah. And Once we get the first one is the hardest one. Yeah. So, but you see what I'm saying? Like, see how this is not wrapped around anything? Oh yeah. It's just coming straight on through? Yeah, go. Okay. Yeah. That's what I mean. There you go. So just like that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So. All right. Okay, ready? So that's coming from the negative side. Yeah. So that's correct. Okay. Just to double check. Right. This would be the second one? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Where do you want it? Um, right where did we do it last time? We were doing it like right it's in here. kind of like here. Yeah. Let's do that. That's fine. Okay. Thank you for watching this episode as we soldered on our BMS. Join us in the next episode as we learn how to finish installing the BMS and start charging the pack.